Hello everyone. If you want to keep a log of your daily, weekly or monthly expenses or record the time spent on different tasks or project, then creating a data log in Excel is the best option for you. Moreover, it can be used for event planning, project management, fitness and health tracking and website analysis. This is Jihad Riyanjim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn two methods on how to create a data log in Excel. Let's talk about what is a data log in Excel. The data log is a kind of form to gather data systematically. This makes data entry very easy as people don't need to choose cells every time for the data entry. Rather, they can easily put their data in a specific form. Before going through the methods, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here, we have the name of the employees, their department, their salary, city and state in column B, C, D, E and F. So, for this tutorial, we'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So, without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we want to create data log using customized Excel form. At first, we'll select the data area from B4 to F9 and then press Ctrl plus T to create the table and here in the create table dialog box you'll tick on the my table has headers and press ok to create a table here. To enable the form option go for the file tab select options to open excel options. Go for quick access toolbar and here choose the all comments section in the choose comments form and here you'll find the form option. Select the form option and click on add to add it in the customized quick access toolbar. After that, click OK to here get the quick access toolbar form section. Click on any of the data in data table. Go for the form to open the form table. Here you will always see the first value. If you want to go to the next value, then go for find next. If you want to go back to the previous value, then click on find previous. If you want to change a certain value, then go for that value. Suppose here we want to change the value of the salary. We want to change it from 1000 to 2000. Then we'll change it from 1000 to 2000 and press the enter button. Then you will see that it has converted from 1000 to 2000. But if you want to enter a new data, then go for the new option where you will find a new data table. In this section, you'll go for the data entry. After entering the new data, if you click on the new option, then you will see that in the data set, you have got the perfect new data entry here. So that's how we can easily create a data login Excel. In our new method, we want to create data log using OneDrive forms. Go for the new option, select forms for Excel and go for in this case employee database and go for the create option. Here you have got the perfect form. If you want to add questions, then go for add new and select text. In the first question, I want to get the names. So write down names here and as it is required, so I'll click on the record option. If you want to go for second question, then go for second question and again go for add new and text option. And here you want to get the second, which is in this case department. You can enter the proper questions according to your wish. After entering all the data, you can also give a trial here. Suppose you want to go for the preview section to give a proper trial here. We have got the name as Pam, then go for department as HR and in the salary section, enter the salary and click on the submit. Then you'll see that your response was submitted here. After getting all the responses, go for the back option and here you'll find the responses. Click on the responses and you have got the perfect responses here. As we have entered total three responses, so we'll go for that to show a proper view here. Click on open on Excel to get a result of Excel sheet. It will be open in a new Excel sheet, but if you want to merge it in the previous worksheet of the first method, then right click on the form and Go for the move or copy 
and here you will select the move or copy dialog box where to book you will select the name of the previous workbook which is in this case create a data log in excel and you want to get the result in the last section so create a copy and click ok to open the worksheet in the right place so that's how we can easily create a data log in excel by using the forms so that's it for today you can follow these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. Thanks for watching our video. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.